welcome back to this course on ESD for the food security. So, in the last class we are discussing about the food insecurity and the causes of the shortage of the food and wastage and uh, what are the three pillars of uh, food security all these things that we are discussing. So, to move ahead with this topic uh, now we will be discussing about other things like poor infrastructure. What is the, So, actually we are discussing about the reasons of the poverty and uh, poverty and the food insecurity. So, that we have already discussed so many factors. Now, another factor is the poor infrastructure. So, poor infrastructure how it causes the hunger, uh, how is the hunger or the poverty because of uh, factors like poor transport, shortage of the food, wastage of the food. So, poor infrastructure actually causes the hung hunger by making it difficult sometimes impossible to transport. Maybe that in the in one reason the food is sufficiently available, but due to the poor infra uh, poor transport system, uh, lack of communication, etc. These are not being transported, these are not being able to uh, taken over to another place to uh, for the people's uh, you know, um, consumptions. So, that is one thing and uh, for, uh, so that is on one of the major thing is that poor infrastructure here comes the transport that, uh, that transport facility also comes under that. The second thing is ca called that uh, sometimes the roads are roads are so poor that it is not possible to reach from one region to another region and even if it it, uh, it is these are being transported the so many uh, foods are being wasted because wasted because of the you know because of the all kinds of barriers uh, or uh, all kinds of time uh, time consuming factors etc so that also deteriorates the quality of the food then again third is the in, in the infrastructure that comes our irrigation system irrigation system that is the if uh, there is no uh, continuous or come or um, um, permanent source of water supply in the nearby uh, field uh, okay, the nearby a paddy field. So, that is an, another another kind of setback because uh, if the farmers um, depends on the unreliable uh, source of water like the rainfall or the un unreliable sources of water uh, instead of having some regular irrigation facilities so that can that also affects the uh, crop that uh, that affects the not only harvesting but the um, that makes the system whole system very expensive because you know procuring the water from other sources and purchasing it with high electricity um, charges etc it becomes very expensive for the um, farmers to maintain it therefore uh, water facility irrigation facility uh, so in that situation it uh, it has it is a major infrastructure that has to be taken either from the underground uh, underground wells and aquifers etc or from the directly river so that should be a permanent um, um, permanent arrangement of the uh, irrigation facilities uh, by connecting it to the either to the uh, deep uh, deep um, down uh, wells aquifers or the rivers so but again both these things are also having the environmental uh, consequences also so these are the important four infrastructure infrastructure like the shortage uh, transport transport of the uh, uh, foods as we have earlier seen that in the flow chart food processing flow chart that is from the during this process how after from this uh, food processing then it has it are, these are being uh, delivered to the markets or transport transport then the transport facilities uh, both road roads and the other kinds of the road uh, facility as well as the um, rail facilities then irrigation system uh, these are the very important factors of the infrastructure of uh, food uh, food products then another thing is that you can say um, irrigation infrastructure sometimes unaffordable for most of the farmers because of you know because of the lack of water and sanitation infrastructure etc whatever um, water uh, they uh, water water they procure they buy they purpose uh, they, uh, they purchase from other sources it becomes expensive for them and the lack of infrastructure like some sometimes what happens the, in the village areas rural areas the mostly the women and the children and the men they are actually fetching the uh, water from the um, by pulling the pulling from the whales and pulling from taking from the long distance um, uh, long distance you can say ponds or the canals or the rivers that consumes a lot of time that consumes a lot of time wastage of time of women and girls and etc so they cannot utilize those, those time in the productive other productive activities so and that also causes some of the children small children to, to especially the girls to or stay away from the school and uh, not get educated. So, that is also the wastage of uh, time and the resources and the energy. So, then again job job instability, job instability that is for the rural people, for the 
for the only for people having the agricultural skill or um, limited skill and the labor labor class people they are having very limited scope or job opportunity so because the, because of the you know hunger rates rise when the national and the local economy is in, in a slump during this covid 19 also as we can we have seen so many people the, the small time uh, the small time you know vendors small time shopkeeper small time laborers uh, laborers or the um, farmers etc they lo lose their job they and they lose their job and they they couldn't find the uh, proper work also so therefore so it uh, it also um, brought down the economy uh, economy into very slump uh, slump phase so that is a, that is also another cause at the nebo because of the uh, some national or the local uh, reasons purpose or or the climatic change or the natural disaster or any kind of um, uh, environmental issues if they don't get some um the, the they, uh, they don't get the regular jobs that also affects we especially for example in the regular otherwise in the rainy season rainy season also it is very difficult for them to get the uh, proper job that also causes the uh, lack of um, foods so similarly sometimes what happens a single parent families are also there single parent families so they don't uh, get enough time uh, to uh, engage them in different kinds of the jobs because simultaneously they have to take care of their home children so they that is the question of uh, not only the work life imbalance but also there is the opportunity then the shortage of opportunity and the scope to uh, to work more or to, to get the more opportunity job opportunity so so similarly and in mean the affluent countries and the developed countries like united states and other things they are actually hunger takes place because of the lack of jobs because primarily they import the uh, food grains uh, Uh, food materials from the other countries, and in their countries, developed countries, their hung hunger or poverty takes place because of because the most of the people when they lack the jobs. So because of uh, lack the jobs, or maybe that whatever jobs they are doing, it's it, it pay very uh, too it pay too little. So because of that, only in um, countries like the developed countries, uh, United States and other areas, uh, they actually hunger takes place because they primarily they don't do their uh, agriculture uh, themselves, but they rather they procure it uh, through import so their job instability also takes place so the job instability is also another reason of food uh, scarcity again ana one more factor is the war and conflict war and conflict that is um, uh, between countries uh, between stay between countries and as well as the intra man uh, intra intra country and inter country maybe because of these two countries uh, that like suppose in Uh, to adjacent to nearby neighborhood countries or within the country also because of this economic crisis political instability etc or wide scale poverty hunger that leads to the frustration resentment uh, with the governments maybe governments uh, you know government uh, so schemes different schemes so, so their war can conflict or conflict like situation chaos uh, you know instability instability all these things uh, takes place nowadays we can say terrorism is also another factor okay Terror, terrorism, uh, not only the political riots, uh, political riots, but also terrorism is another factor. So this also, actually, due to this war and conflict, so many homes are being destroyed. Natural calamities also uh, being the victim of natural calamities, a war and disasters, etc. People are being displaced. So displacement is another factor. Then infra, like, then physical infrastructure also need to be reconstructed in this kind of situation. that uh, has been destroyed and damaged due to this uh, war conflict terrorism or any kind of natural disaster so then again so another thing another is that the prices also food prices also fluctuates from time to time because of the unstable market because market is being influenced by not only the economic factors but the social fact the social factors then the environmental factors okay and the in some of the industrial factors and so so the market prices uh, Uh, fl fluctuates from time to times and how to take control of these fluctuations that has that has to be taken care of by our economic policy and you know by our central government central bank central bank and the government policies so which creates actually um, uh, primarily uh, the hardships additional hardship hardship for the citizens so again um, so another thing is that affordability for the pesticides so uh, people from the developed countries they can afford uh, to the latest technology latest uh, manure fertilizer pesticides etc whereas the people from the low income countries or the developing countries so they have the limited source they are limited access to this kind of you know uh, highly 
technology, high high technology or the highly high quality pesticide to uh, to protect to to preserve to. Um, uh, they are uh, food grains etc. So again more of also disease also disease uh, closely related to the uh, due to the poverty and the food insecurity the, um, um, uh, the people rural people or the people disadvantaged people they become the victim of different kinds of diseases because of the poor poverty poor because of the uh, poor nutrition and poverty and food insecurity that kind of we can say that is the because of the um, scarcity of the clean water drinking water safe drinking water or poor sanitation or pollution or inadequate inadequate shelter etc so, so they fall the victim of not only the malnutrition malnourishment but also other kind of the uh, immun uh, immunity deficiency and the other kinds of diseases like the cholera tb malaria etc etc et nowadays and presently you know the not only the covid but also earlier to that this um, hiv aids all these are the from time to time they also become this uh, victim of this kind of diseases because of the because of the poor immunity system and the poor uh, food um, that means food security and the poverty so therefore that is a <coughs> therefore uh, in the society actually we can see we can see um, witness uh, vast inequalities so vast inequalities and even in especially in the hospitals also we can find out the poor people the poor people are the you know they, they are the actual crowd they are the major you know stakeholders in the hospitals because they because of their poor because of that their poor quality of health because of the food insecurity or because of the poor quality of the not unsafe drinking water environmental facilities so for that that kind of things actually the poor people are um, very often they get um, uh, infected, they will get um, affected with these kind of uh, small diseases, regular diseases and, and they cannot uh, and, the, and they cannot afford neither, they cannot uh, can afford to expensive medicine, they can take care of their own health also and they can spend the money in the, for the medical thing but also they are not being able to uh, do the regular um, work uh, to earn the livelihood. So the rural people, the disadvantaged people uh, the deprived people are actually the victim of the health complications from time to time. So, so another thing is that yes, technology available there, technology is available there, technology can control the temperament, uh, temperature, water, nutrition, everything, etc. But again, at the same time, there, are, there can be the economic and environmental cost related to it. So, developed countries can afford to uh, import the food, import the um, a uh, techno latest technology or um, or um, import the uh, latest uh, you know uh, fertilizer pesticides etc but what happened to the uh, to, throughout the uh, throughout the year but uh, the develop developing countries farmers developing countries people they cannot uh, they cannot um, afford to purchase uh, afford to procure it all kinds of throughout the year so, okay so again there are also the discrimination also takes place discrimination like the like um, without economy, that means uh, pro, um, so definitely the, the, the poverty, the pro, uh, then uh, food insecurity actually it relates to the eco economic growth of the country. So with the falling uh, GDP, that is gross domestic domestic product, etc. So not only not only it affects our agriculture, our business, our industry also, but uh, it also affects the human life. It also affects the human life. So discrimination has woven into the social fabric gradually. We can say we can say why this in African countries, uh, African countries so people are uh, so many people are uh, deprived in the disadvantage again because of the not only because of the poor food, uh, food security, but uh, water and um, uh, climatic change and you know poor economy, poor education, etc. So they become the disadvantaged group. So here in the so automatically this discrimination comes up in the um, embeds in the uh, social fabric. So discrimination is uh, there. Why why women farmers in developing countries uh, they they do not get the um, they do not do not get the equal wages like other uh, other male uh, male farmers. Why they are not so so much of productivity in comparison with the male counterparts. And why women in all sectors of the economy why they are less than the men. And why the girls are being pulled out from the school. These are some of the reasons reasons of the social uh, discrimination that is why equality that means equality gen not only gender equality but equal opportunity equal opportunity and access to all resources that is also one of the primary goal of the sustainable development um, 
in uh, goals of the UNESCO. So that is also equality, equal access, equal affordability, equal um, facility, equal um, that means gender, uh, gender equality, all kinds of equality is very much important even for the food security also. So nutritional quality, uh, qualities are to be ensured then uh, another form of we have already discussed how the mal malnutrition also takes place as a takes a, uh, place as a hidden hunger hidden hunger because of the poor quality of the food uh, you know not only low quantity but also poor quality of the food then again uh, most vulnerable um, category of the people are the young children infants and the young children and ma and lactating mothers like the uh, mothers uh, the young mothers lactating mothers similarly loss of farmland also it creates a kind of vicious cycle of the exhaustion of the soil, low fertility, decline of the agricultural uh, productivity in the world because of the, you know, because of the, you know, poor, um, you know, in the cyclic way because of the, uh, because of the um, lack of, because of lack of fertilizer, lack of, you know, quality, uh, pro, uh, quality, man, quality manures and etc. So, automatic gradually the lands, uh, the lands, farmlands, guest, farmland, uh, lands, the, it, get, it gets, um, less fertile or this fertility lost gradually in the process. So, and then de desertification also takes place because of the deforestation, because of the inappropriate agricultural process, drought, famine, etc. So, desertification also takes place from time to time. So, these are also other factors of poverty and the food insecurity. So, now uh, how to reduce this poverty? There are some suggested solutions are there. Um, it's, uh, so, India to make the food security a core policy priority, the few policy changes are also essential to improve the Indian, uh, India's hunger situation. So, these are some of the, you know, some of these are the uh, suggestions of some of the researchers and the policy makers. So, how can we uh, eradicate, uh, how can we remove the hunger and the, ensure the food security by uh, following certain um, principles and um, solutions. First thing is that yes, job creation, creating the different kinds of jobs, low skilled, semi skilled, high skilled uh, jobs and you know India being the agriculture based economy. So definitely more agriculture is almost uh, across, the, across the world, uh, agriculture is the primary major source of jobs. So, besides agriculture, you know, there are other uh, sectors like IT sector, health sector, education sector and uh, skill, uh, skill based sectors are there. So, creating how, creating jobs, many more and more uh, jobs, how to create many jobs for employment for different categories of the people, not for the only highly technical or the professional, but also from low category, from the grassroots level um, workers to the highly uh, professional things. So, job creation, again, it is the biggest challenge for India, job creation. So, that is why now there are different kinds of schemes, Rozgar, Jawahar, Rozgar, uh, Yojanas and the startups uh, things and uh, small time uh, entrepreneurship uh, programs and SMEs, uh, these are being promoted and how to create, how to create a more and more number of jobs in the market. So, again raising the minimum wage and the wage revision also, wage revision also very much uh, important, the revision of the wage because you know with the inflation, with the price rise also definitely the uh, wages, the daily labor charge, uh, wages would also be hiked. So, increased uh, the and earned income tax credit for the childless workers, childless worker mm, there the, for the, uh, now we are also having this uh, DA, DS, daily allowances um, gradually raising with the price rise also, market uh, price rise, supported the pay, pay equity, equality for uh, men, there is, there should not be any difference and discrimination. Uh, between uh, male and female workers, but pay equity, provide the paid leave. Again, even if somebody is getting the medical uh, health leave or any kind of sabbatical leave, etc., there should be the paid leave also should be available and establish the work schedule that work like in order to for maintaining the work life balance, for maintaining a harmonious development, the working hours, how it should be distributed. So, that is, that is why. Uh, both uh, that means mostly uh, even in the government sector also these are being introduced but also most of the private or MNCs uh, private organizations they have given that kind of uh, um, uh, work flexibility work flexibility more health facilities and you know um, the recreation facilities education facilities these they are being provided from time to time to their employer to their uh, employees just to get them um, make them more productive more committed more happy and more uh, and more sustainable in the sense the sustainable and 
um, in, the, in their work style, sustainable in the productivity, etc. So, invest in, in the affordable, high quality childcare and early education. So, education at every level is very important. Along with that, the affordable, uh, high quality child care is the child care, nursery, crèche, and affordable. Um, so, therefore, education, health, education, and health, we need to afford, need to spend more, invest more, expand the medical aid, medical facilities, medical health, the health cards, making the compulsory health card for every, ch every child, every citizen, every individual uh, under different age groups also that is health card then vaccines the introduction of vaccines and in icds icds programs in the rural areas in the unborn bodies that is uh, not only uh, distributing the nutritious food or uh, nutrition supplements but also health checkup regular health checkup so expand this in medical aid and uh, medical aid aid and the facilities uh, then again, yes, the reform in the criminal justice system and to enact the policy that supports successful re-entry. And um, we must, uh, we must uh, adopt a policy of do no harm to the society, to the people, etc. That means how to, again, how to establish a peaceful and just society. Again, so here ESD comes in here. How to make our, uh, make a very peaceful and just society. That means society will be built up uh, in a peaceful and harmonious and sustainable way when all the stakeholders, all the individual um, uh, individual contributors, individual stakeholder, uh, economic system, social fabric, all these things put together uh, and go well in a very cohesive manner. So, social uh, protection in the form of cash transfer. Now, these are, uh, you know, villagers and rural people, uh, they are having the um, bank accounts, zero balance bank, bank accounts. So this is all, again another initiative. Uh, to eliminate hunger because you know that is a kind of social protection protection from the government side and activities such as that uh, upgradation of the rural infrastructure training to the farmers then the post harvest practices to minimize the law losses and uh, you know in uh, in every it's, it till now it's uh, your our you know krishi krishi uh, krishi program krishi program in akashvani is a very popular is very pro popular not only make the um, farmers aware of the climatic change also but also give them the knowledge about the basic things of um, how to uh, basic things regarding the plants harvesting um, manure and fertilizer all kinds of things uh, knowledge and information are being up, given to them and, and um, updating them from time to time so this is a kind of uh, you know supply chain or value chain is you can say it's a kind of uh, value chain uh, to scale up to scale up the productivity to uh, you know to uh, organize the small um, farmers uh, small, uh, in, into different cooperatives into to cooperatives so that they can sell out their products now this in retail sector that is big immense retail sector this big immense is multi uh, multinational companies you know like reliance fresh and other companies they are venturing into this that they are actually they are also taking the uh, things from the um, um, from the uh, uh, local level farmers F uh, farmers giving them their due prices and selling it uh, with the uh, preservation uh, facilities they are selling it in the uh, urban areas so that is also there's a, they are also um, coordinating the coordinating with the, the big, big uh, uh, you know business houses they are also uh, liaisoning making the liaisoning and uh, hiring these uh, farmers uh, and giving them the so that the food wastage will be minimized because the farmers when they sell out their complete uh, food products and the um, grains etc to the um, big uh, MNCs etc that, that means they also get the complete uh, money out of that so there is no risk of wastage of um, foods and again at the same time they can invest this money in the, in the next crop next season crops and the, the uh, with the with the biz, big this biz, uh, businessman they not only procure the um, quality food from there, but they also come through their mechanism and technology, etc. They preserve it and sell it out throughout the year. So this mechanism also, it's again, it's a value chain that has to be sustained and supported. So in one nation, one ration card across the country, one nation, one ration card across the country, that is to unif make it uniform, that is universalization of these policies and the all kinds of things, irrespective of the um, geographical uh, differences and discrimination etc so how can we uni make an uniform policy to one nation one ration card one like in our country that is the Aadhaar card and the Aadhaar card has become the in a key, a key uh, passport to all kinds of the facilities uh, government facilities and the uh, public facilities so 
that is one uh, one nation one ration card uh, one ration card across the country that is also that would be a great move towards the universalization or uniform making our policies uniform for our own uh, region that means for our own country thereafter comes our you know icds schemes and mdm schemes are also working so sustainable agriculture practices uh, like such as the crop rotation mix, uh, mixed cropping and the pulses uh, bio fertilizers limiting use of the pesticides fertilizers integrated pest management all these things must be encouraged promoted and educated educated and uh, so the proper training and um, outreach programs from training and outreach programs will be organized from time to time to update to update to educate our farmers uh, to update our um, you know um, stakeholders stakeholders who are directly or indirectly related to farming agriculture food uh, storage all kinds of from time to time for the proper management of the proper management of the food products so that the minimum uh, wastage minimum wastage uh, will take place and uh, the, so we can go for a sustainable uh, and secured uh, food uh, system food food security sustainable food security system now i'm completing it uh, right now here then uh, next class we will continue it next onwards thank you